what used to be a water catchment area for generating electricity, severely damaged by heavy rains and strong winds. Tropical storm Anna triggered major power cuts here in Malawi. This power plant generated 30% of the country's electricity before flooding damaged most of the infrastructure here. It could take weeks before it is fully functional again. Until then, parts of Malawi will remain in the dark. This is not the first time the country's power utility has been crippled by the effects of extreme weather, made more likely by climate change. We had gone through such situation during the drought in, in 2017, 2018, and we had recovered from that. And uh, if you may check around, the country had now confidence in the power generation in the country. And this is a big blow to the national economy. We had uh, started building on on this, and this has brought us back that we now need to look at uh, how can we come out of this fast enough. The power supplier is now working to mitigate further impact from yet another storm expected to make landfall in the coming days. At a nearby village, people here are counting the cost of the damage. Eight feet. Stanford Ngalu shows me what's left of his house after high water levels forced his family to flee. The 70-year-old tells me previous storms in the area were not as harsh. We will be completely dead if rains come again. It will finish my house and will also damage the houses of those who were lucky to survive the last time. Just as people in the region deal with the aftermath of Tropical Storm Anna, they're now having to brace themselves for a cyclone which is on the way. Nomsa Masego, BBC News, Blantyre, Malawi.